Episode four. It's only the best. The trick with this meal is to do it properly. No cutting corners. We're not using jasmine rice. We're using the real Oreo. That's the key. Don't laugh. He wanted to use jasmine rice. I had said it was a mistake. This is the part where Roberto's trying to be funny. I am funny. I'm very funny. Where are we going? Right with us. God knows. Oh. Is Roberto's is one of the last great Italian grocery stores in New York. They have different olive oils. You could bring in your own bottle, they fill it up. They make fresh mozzarella every day. They hand make pasta. They have the most beautiful mortadella. Everyone knows about Caputo's fresh bread. It's it's the best of the best. All right, let's get some cheese. We need parmigiano, pecorino. We need a little mozzarella because we make it out in cheese. You know, I'm not making the out in cheese with the meat. I'm actually making the plain with the mozzarella. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. doing. Mine is actually a meal. My hand is uh, best. So when I make it, when yeah, uh, I end up making uh, <laughs> <laughs> After I'm done, I roll them. It's a basketball. Bit, that's, a, that's a meal. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Thank you. Grazie Come tante. Buona festa. Ciao. With all the Italian groceries squared away, the only thing left to source was the meats. And for that, we had to go to... Pino's. Pino's Prime Meats is on Sullivan Street. It's been there for something like 100 years. And it's sort of like the known, unknown, great meat market. People in the know are obsessed with it including one of my idols, Andrew Ray, AKA Binging with Babish. And I've mentioned it before, I love Pino's Prime Meats. It's where I got this pork belly. They always take really good care of me, so I thought I'd make them this gigantic pork at a sandwich. Andrew, he's been coming for so long, and we didn't know. Yeah, it's like, and then like little wife, by little, we got more friends. Like, yeah. He's been coming for years, yeah, just the same like this. So it's like, you know, but you don't know. It's a small place, it's all family run. They have some of the best meat across the board you could buy and the most reasonable prices. So it's like, you don't feel ever like you're going to some uh, hoity-toity, silly, bespoke meat market and everyone has fucking mustaches on, like waxed sideburns or something like that. You're hating it, you're hating it. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm not hating, damn it. If you get mad, you need to step back and count to 10. And if you can't get over your anger, get help. You walk in there and it's real New York and you can ask them for anything and they'll make it happen. Okay, so we're gonna do the big Milanese chop. You said chicken livers? Eight, 18 of them. 18 of them? Okay. You're not poaching the veal frost? It says poach them. Yeah. And you then poach you whole. The you poach it whole, then you slice yes. it thin. Really? You yes. poach it whole. So this yes. is why okay. you come here. Because that's, yes. that's yes. revealed on other yes. Because okay. uh, my mom used to make it in Italy. And uh, they would cook it like a like a pot roast, and then uh, and then you would slice it. I'm gonna tie it up for you guys too, so it stays one shape. And then you just take off the string afterwards to slice. Where do you live in the city? Oh, I'm in Queens, Bayside. Yeah, Bayside. Yeah, Bayside yeah. Oh, Astoria. Oh, yeah, my cousins are from Astoria. Hi. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Don't ask us to shave it. <laughs> we might end up with extra meat here. <laughs> Guys, I'm delicious. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm cuter. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Having sourced the best ingredients, we returned to Brooklyn, as it was now time to plan the meal. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we begin. I was saying that we should start with preparing the risotto for the souplis. The rice needs to set a little bit before we start re-engaging the love on that rice. Okay. And we also have to immediately start dealing with our veal. Because the veal needs to boil, cook, and then set. And then we have the Milanese, we can pound those out. Yeah, great. And we can also do the chicken liver pasta. Oh yeah, and that should be cool. We wanted to get those like flavors intermingling and chilling anyway in the fridge. Let's do it. Yeah. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the website. We'll see you in episode five.